community? Oh my gosh, there's way too many, too many to tell. Community. Um, a long time ago, we had a chaplain who had never been a priest in a parish. He had been uh, a missionary, and then he uh, ended up in, um, anyway, he ended up in his community's office of um, doing all kinds of things. So in a large city, he would go to one parish for like Good Friday and another parish for Easter. So he never celebrated with the community a whole liturgical year. So coming to us as a part-time retired guy was his first time to do Easter the way we do Easter. And um, he had, for some reason, the sacristan had given him both, um, I, he had both uh, Gospels, because at that time we were still doing the vigil and we had the Sunday Mass, and why she had both out there. And he would look at this book, and he'd look at a reading from the Gospel of and he'd go back and forth, and so for some reason I had a missalette, and I thought, okay, I'll get his attention. I, of course, I had the organ ready for a big hallelujah at the end, and um, I'm holding this book up to say, look over here, look over here, I, this is the one you're supposed to be reading, and the book fell and hit the organ, and there was this big crash, and all the sisters jumped and kind of laughed, and he looked up, and I grabbed the book, and a gospel according to whichever one it was. <laughs> so we had a good laugh over that. <laughs> uh, I can think of some parties we had where we used to do skits, but I probably would not better tell the whole stories on those. <laughs> so one of the things, when we were in formation, my good friend, Sister Joyce, and I went to the J.C. Penney. Well, what had happened was we had had some Irish nuns here visiting and we picked up the brogue. And so we were talking the brogue, you know, beating a dead horse with the brogue. So we went out to the J.C. Penney, and we were looking at shoes. And here we were over the Nikes. And Joyce says, oh, hell Dot, I'm thinking I might be getting myself a pair of Nikes. And I said, oh Dot, you don't be needing the Nikes, get the New Balance. And we were going back and forth like that, and the clerk came up and said, are you ladies from Ireland? And I suddenly broke character and said, oh no, we're just pretending. Okay, then afterwards, Joyce in the car said, what were you thinking of? Do you know how stupid we looked when we did that? If you just said we were from Ireland, we could have continued, okay? And when we had these Golden Jubilee celebrations, the sisters that are celebrating are always usually sitting up front in special chairs and, and waiting for the rest of the community to celebrate. And, come together and then there's a little program of some sort. Well, not on their their celebration. It didn't happen that way. We were all gathered there and there was nobody there. <laughs> they weren't coming and weren't coming. And we were starting to get, what in the world is going on? They aren't here yet. And if you Not know, sister, all three straight arrows, I mean by that, <laughs> they are um, People who do not call any attention to themselves at all. Uh, very quiet natured kind of people. Just kind of always doing what they're supposed to be doing, you know. Well, in they come all of a sudden, all three of them at once, dressed in big floppy red hats and purple accessories, the red hat ladies. And we laugh so hard. I thought I'd fall out of my chair. Well, one of the funniest things that happened to me was a long time ago, when I was still in the habit, I was standing under the chapel archway, and my veil flew off. So I had to run after it, <laughs> and it was a bit embarrassing. <laughs> oh, I, I think when there's a bat in the house flying around, swooping. So far, the funniest thing happened one day in noon praise. We usually, uh, each person selects a day to lead the group. And so this day one sister led the group and she got to the part where we pray, we have a reading. And she picked up the reading book and she held it for a little bit and all of a sudden she burst into laughter and she laughed and laughed and laughed and we all kind of looked at around because it wasn't quite what we had expected for prayer. And then we started laughing too because she couldn't stop laughing and tears were coming down her eyes and she couldn't read. 
And so finally, when we, uh, when everything calmed down, she was able to read the story to us. And if I had the book with me now, I'd read the story to you. But it indeed was hysterical. And so far, that is the funniest thing that I have had happen in community, especially with regard to prayer. Thank you. Great. Well, one funny thing that happened before I was in community, when I was visiting, another um, woman and I who were, vis were staying here together, we were scraping a statue of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, and the hand fell off. And she was, she was scraping in front, and I was in the back, and she was making these noises, and I came around, and she said, the hand fell off, and she was holding it up there like it was going to reattach itself. So we were really scared that we were in trouble for breaking off the hand of Jesus. Well, I was reminded the other day, there was a woman visiting who used to be in our community as a postulant. She was a newcomer. And she's very bright, and so she was leading prayer for the first time. And we were using, as a reading, uh, RB 1980. Now what she didn't know, and she didn't prepare, she didn't know that the left page had Latin, and the right side had English. So she starts reading, flips the page, bumbles, through two Latin words and stops and says, you got to be kidding. <laughs> and of course, that was the end of prayer. <laughs> we all laughed. Well, I take that back. I think maybe the bat in chapel when I was a postulate, relatively new to community, was sitting up there Sunday, Sunday chapel, praying, and a bat comes swinging around the chapel and one sister was uh, reading she didn't see the bat but it was something from revelations that kept saying come so she'd read 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 come and here's this bat swinging around and we had sisters putting books on top of their heads and we had other sisters with with tennis and badminton rackets trying to knock the bat down. So you're trying to pray and you're praying the petitions and you're responding and you hear whoop as they hit the pew when they miss the bat. And I think that was probably the funniest thing was that bat. In the community, it was past prioress and it was a liturgy. I can't remember if it was mass or prayer and she had a lapel mic on. And after the service, she was out in the hallway outside of the chapel, and somebody asked her a question, and she was just being silly, and she started singing Diana Ross, stop in the name of love. Well, somebody came running out of the chapel and said, the mic's still on, the mic's still on. So that was one of the funniest things I could think of that happened in community. community. Um, the funniest thing that ever happened was when we, were, we received a call that there was a bat up on fourth floor. And so another sister and I went up to get the bat out the door. And we did. We accomplished getting it out the door. So it was out on the porch. And we swept it. I swept it off the porch. And all of a sudden I hear, hey! And I knew it was the prioress at that time. The bat had swooped back onto the porch below us. It almost hit the prioress. <laughs> The other one is, and I tell the story that, um, well, one of the things that impressed me when I came to community was that you could have a really good time and alcohol wasn't involved. And prior to that, as a college student, that would not have been the case, okay? So we would do things that were really fun that were just really stupid. Like, at the time I came, they were just switching to no habits. And so there were a lot of the elders that were still in full habit and there still was a rule that you had to wear a skirt in the dining room, okay? So, what's the best thing to do? Break the dress code. So we would do this on a Sunday afternoon. We would put shorts on, and we would go up to the third floor where the elders lived, and we would see whether we could get from one end of third floor to the other end of third floor without getting caught with our shorts on. And then we'd laugh and laugh and laugh, and it was just totally stupid. But 
the really funny things you can't talk about. <laughs> I was Prioress at the time, and I came upon this old sister standing at the top of the stairs trying to do something with her hose, her stockings. And I said, Sister, may I help you? And she turned to me and said, Mind your own business. <laughs> I said, Okay.